Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Elle from Elle Plans. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you've been sticking around for all these years, welcome back. Um, it has been a minute since I've done a YouTube video. Uh, this one, I want to show you uh, my 2022 lineup, what worked, what didn't work, and um, how it kind of evolved throughout the year. So um, let's not waste any time. Let's get to it. So for the start of 2022, I had four planners in my lineup with the idea of also making a planner wallet, but it changed so much I actually never did a YouTube video on it. Um, for 2022, you can find YouTube videos with detailed outlines of my half letter work planner, my A5 extension planner, my personal everyday carry, and then my Hobonichi Weeks memory keeping. Um, so you can find those below. Um, but to start, um, I used a Hobonichi Weeks Mega for memory keeping. Uh, the cover I have it in right now is the Chic Sparrow in creme brulee and it has the white stitching. I think this is kind of a limited edition. I didn't realize, I think I just ordered it by accident. So, <laughs> um, But here is my Hobonichi Weeks for last year. On the left hand side, I did like a short blurb for the day. And on the right hand side, I did my 52 list project. I thought about using the um, blank pages in the back for just daily journaling, but at the start of 2022, I was really bad at journaling. I was very intimidated by all this space. And so that's what led me to do the 52 list project because I'm great at making lists and it was a really great introduction into journaling. So if you haven't heard of this, this is the 52 list project by Maria Seal. And I loved it so much, I'm actually going to do her 52 list for happiness in 2023. So you can find these on Amazon or at your um, local bookstore. They're very easy to find. So that was my Hobonichi Weeks. Next was my personal everyday carry. So this cover I'm using right now is a Gilio Burgundy. Um, basically, it started out in 2022 as a monthly setup. So I had um, dividers in here from January all the way to December, and they had a little piece of all of my big sections. So I have wellness, finances, social media, home projects or, or goals, I should say, and then like notes. So I had a, a, an insert for each of those big sections in each of the months. And basically it was just kind of day to day that I was updating those inserts and then I would take all that information and um, collate it into kind of big picture stuff in my A5, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so I don't have it set up like that at the moment because um, throughout the year, I just realized I needed to kind of slim down how much I was basically tracking. It was just taking up so much time doing all this tracking. And honestly, I wasn't updating my A5 as much as I wanted to. So what I managed to do was put all of my big sections in my personal and have less tracking. So I took out the months, just could put in everything I needed to know like out and about with me. And that was what my everyday carry was just kind of generic information and stuff that I felt like I could use on the go. And then we have my A5. So this is what I call my extension planner. So I'll show you here. It has the big sections, wellness, finance, social media, home, notes, and goals. And basically this is kind of big picture stuff. So um, I'm trying to see if I can show you an example. So like for wellness, for example, I have this really big tracker that I use from Peanuts Planner Co. where I track migraines, my cycle, if I'm ill, things like that, skincare products I love, um, routines, makeup references, anything like that um, I keep in here. And then for finances, um, I don't know if I can show you too much in here, but basically I keep track of like quarterly and annual finances. So basically, what our expenses actually compare to our budget goals for the month, and then how much we spent, saved, put towards debt, all that in kind of like an annual tracker. And I did that for our joint and my personal account. And then if we go into, oh, social media, this was kind of, I kind of 
fell off the train for social media. Um, because honestly, I, I don't really, I don't plan for social media because I'm not really here to like gain followers. This girl just loves to plan. <laughs> so I've just gotten lucky that I've met so many friends who also love to plan. So, you know, doing YouTube videos and stuff, I just do it because I love it. And, um, you know, people ask about my planners and um, I'm more than happy to show it. Uh, I just have to make sure I don't get lazy um, because I love seeing everyone else's planners, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I was kind of keeping a schedule of like when I could do YouTube videos and things like that. Um, and then it also just had kind of random information about my favorite shops and swatches and things like that. Um, and then I have my home section where I have um, kind of meal planners. I have um, oh, like things we need to buy for the home. What else? Oh, the last time I... Our favorite recipes with the ingredients, favorite wines, all of my plant information. So I just took like really terrible Polaroids of all my plants and wrote down all their information. So you can see it's just kind of like a home guide, um, but yeah. And then notes, honestly, is just like a brain dump section. I use the paper test designs, um, note insert, and just literally keep track of some things. And then the final section is goals, and I use the Paper Test Designs Goal Maker. Um, I also have the um, like a fitness plan in here that I wanted to do for the year, and it has recipes and everything. And then I think I had, oh yeah, my Bible reading and um, stuff like that. So yeah, this is just kind of like big picture stuff, things I don't need with me on the go, um, but I want to keep track of and I want to you know be held accountable for, I guess. So that was my A5. And to be honest, this was working well until about April time. April was when we moved um, to London and things were just crazy. Um, and I just, I couldn't keep up with it anymore. So we'll talk more about that in a bit. And then um, finally was my work planner. So um, it's looking a bit slim right now because I had to set this back up for this video. Um, but I was using this gorgeous Notique uh, ringless cover um, and the color is Bisque. It's a beautiful kind of like Safiano leather. Um, but I was using this for work, my half leather setup. So basically I just had all kinds of stuff in here, an inbox, these kind of project planning inserts. Um, I also had contacts, passwords. Uh, meeting notes and then I was using the paper test designs uh, notes to uh, just as my daily work uh, schedule task list everything I basically just put my schedule here my tasks here and then I draw a line and this would all just be notes for the day and it's essentially the same exact way as I've set up my bound book for work now essentially what caused me to change my whole system was I was having to print every month inserts for my half letter, my personal, and my A5 extension. And then I was also doing deco and changing everything. So yeah, it basically got to be too much, which again, isn't a bad thing because I feel like as we came out of, you know, the pandemic, life started happening again and that's all we wanted, right? Was to have a bit more life. So. Um, yeah, we just started living a bit more and I just had to scale it back. So now we'll go on and I'll show you how things kind of morphed for the rest of the year. Are you ready? <laughs> so starting about April, May time, I went ahead and made the shift into these three planners. So I still kept my personal planner, but as I mentioned before, I kind of trimmed it down a little bit to only necessities, the things that I absolutely needed to know and keep track of, and I was no longer using my A5 extension. So I had my A5, or sorry, my personal as my everyday carry. But I really, really, really wanted to try Franklin Covey compact size. And I saw these gorgeous Marsha Bermucci inserts and I just had to try them. I thought it was perfect because I don't really use dailies. And um, she had these gorgeous day on two page inserts and I thought, you know what? I don't have dailies in my system. Why don't I grab these day on two page inserts from Marcia Bermucci? I'll try them in Franklin Covey compact size and it will just be a scribbly planner just to see if I like the size. 
Well, of course, I fell in love with all this scribble craziness, right? But just being able to plan and not have deco, not care what it looks like, it's just purely functional. I thought, you know what, we're onto something here. So basically, Scribbly Planner inspired the rest of the year and potentially 2023 setups. So this was Scribbly Planner. I have a reel on my Instagram if you wanna see her and find out more. But yeah, basically it was an experiment to see if I liked uh, Franklin Covey compact size. Um, still like it, but I think what came out of it is just going back to bare basics in my planning style. So love you Scribbly Planner for all that you did for me in 2022. And then lastly, I ditched half rings for work and went ahead and started using a Stology bound book system. So I basically just stuck it in this um, Louis Vuitton desk agenda cover and mimicked Scribbly Planner. So I still laid out my pages exactly how I did in my half letter, just simple, literally drawing three lines. Um, I can't really show you things that are in here because they're private for work, but you can see the tabs and everything are exactly like Scribbly Planner and it's so functional. I would draw the month, every month, the beginning of the year, I draw a week, kind of like Hobonichi week style, and then my dailies, you know, would just go um, every day as I went along. And I have a reel on how I set up my uh, kind of bullet journal work uh, planner on my Instagram as well. So you can check that out. So this was the vibe until about maybe August time. So I'll show you what I did for about late summer, early fall. We'll check out that setup. So now we're at August, September, October time right now. So everything's going great. In love with Scribbly Planner, fully obsessed. Um, personal, I'm realizing there's still a whole lot of information here I really don't need. Um, still updating everything, but I can slim it down even further. Also, I've got this idea that I want everything in one. If I could get Scribbly Planner dailies, everything in my personal rings, and a wallet that I can kind of easily take in and out, it would literally be amazing. That would be like my ideal setup. I can carry the whole thing in one planner and take out what I need to take out and it would be great. Because at this point in time, I was going into the office more and it was so difficult to carry like three planners into the office. So I needed to change it up. So this is what I did. I created Mega Planner. <laughs> so this is a custom from Naya Papery in the Velvet Desert um, leather. So basically, I had a hybrid planner made. So I added strings, you can see here, on both sides. And it is personal wide size. And basically, I wanted personal wide because I even at the time had a B6 notebook that I was keeping back here as like a brain dump in notes. It also houses a uh, Franklin Covey compact size. And you can see I also just threw in some personal um, inserts in here as well because I went ahead and transferred all the essentials from my personal everyday carry and um, the month of dailies from Scribbly Planner and then voila, my wallet. So I was just using this vintage um, Louis Vuitton, I think it's like a checkbook wallet, had all my cards in here. I've got this teeny tiny little Ryman's monthly calendar and it just slips perfectly into these little strings at the front. So I had Mega Planner, one planner, well technically two if we're talking about my work planner, that I could take into work and it had everything. And if I needed to pop out and use a small um, wallet, like in my fanny pack or whatever, I honestly just took this out of the strings, had my cards, still had like a daily breakdown of my plans for the month, and I was set. This was perfect. This, this honestly was so good. I loved Mega Planner, it worked. The only issue was, is that if I wanted other um, covers, like different colors or textures or whatever, it meant I would have to get a custom every time. Who can afford that? There are probably people who can afford that, but I cannot. Um, so I just thought, this is great. 
we can still go with this, but it's still not solving the problem of having to print and deco and all of that stuff, which I know deco isn't a necessity, but it's like when you have gorgeousness like this, you want it to look pretty. So anyways, I needed to cut out the printing aspect of it. Like I was so over printing and my HP printer is a menace. So this is where we got to starting in probably October, November time. That's the next step. Okay, so now we are in October, November, and December of 2022. I'm really loving the flexibility of my work stology that I'm using. Um, being able um, at the time, draw the month, draw the weeks, draw the days as they come, and then move on to the next month. And I just thought, you know what, I could use that as my everyday carry. Um, no printing, just fill it out as we go. Um, so that led me to going back to basics, <laughs> TNs. I used to use TNs in 2018 and 2019 before I was in the planner community, um, but I had never used these sizes before. So I just thought, let's experiment so we know exactly what we wanna do in the, new, in the new year. So I experimented with standard TN and also pocket TN. Um, I noticed a lot of people were using these Moleskine books, um, which seemed super handy. They were all set up, super simple. And I just thought that would be a great on-the-go planner, but I don't know if I could use um, this size for everything, like extension, everyday carry, all that stuff. So I just thought, you know what, let's set up a standard TN as well and see if that would work. And then, you know, I could carry this with me everywhere, um, just making sure that the size would fit in my purses and all that good stuff. So two things. We'll start with the standard TN. Um, I just grabbed this um, simple um, little insert from Traveler's Company and set it up. I just honestly taped in um, monthly inserts. You can see I ripped out pages from my pocket moleskin just to experiment with having like a weekly view of the month. And then, yeah, if I needed structure, I would tape in weeks. If I didn't need structure, I would just draw in the day. I just found that it was difficult to draw in the day. Like I wouldn't automatically open this and like start a new day. So I just thought, hmm, maybe I do need a planner with um, structure already because that's what I loved about Scribbly Planner. I didn't have to draw lines, I didn't, which I know is like kind of like counterintuitive to what I was trying to do. But I loved that about Scribbly Planners. I could just open it up, everything's all set up and I could scribble in it. Um, so I needed to find a balance. Uh, so, so that's why I went over to the Pocket TN with the Moleskine notebooks because I loved that the week was already drawn in for you, but I could customize it however I need to. Again, make it scribbly. I don't care what it looks like. It was purely functional. And this actually really worked for me. Um, and I thought, okay, I can do this. Again, I was concerned about being able to put everything in this size. So I grabbed the Moleskine kind of grid notebook and I went ahead and set it up like my extension planner and found out like it could work, like we could do this. Um, so yeah, I had hope. This worked out really well, um, but I still wanted to give standard TN a shot. So then, literally, December 30th, maybe December 31st, um, I scratched all of that, well, I scratched all of this, I should say, and decided I was going to use a weekly and a pocket daily for 2023. So um, I will do a YouTube video on my setup for 2023, but... This is where we ended the year. Standard TN, pocket TN, and still using an A5 Stology for work. So that's it. So now you can understand why I have 7,000 planners <laughs> all in one place for 2022. Um, it's been a wild ride, but it's also been a really good learning moment. So um, thanks for sticking around and hearing about the things that did and didn't work for 2022. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to show you what hopefully works for 2023. Anyways, have a happy new year and I will see you guys soon. Bye.